ஸ்ரீ அனுவாவி சுப்பிரமணிய டெம்பிள் காமன்லி ரெஃபர் டு ஆஸ் அனுவாவி சுப்பிரமணிய டெம்பிள் இட்ஸ் அ ஹிந்து டெம்பிள் விச் இஸ் டிவோட்டட் டு லார்ட் முருகன் சுச்சுவேட்டட் அட் அனுவாவி இன் பெரிய தடாகம் அந்த அவுட்ஸ்கிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் கோயம்புத்தூர் அட் அ டிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் நைன்டீன் கிலோமீட்டர்ஸ் ஆன் த ஆனைக்கட்டி ஹைவே buses depart from Gandhipuram to Anuvavi Subramaniya Temple. We can see the brick glen construction while driving through. The area is completely covered in greenery, hills, fields and so on. see the temple in the middle of the hill from a certain distance on normal days we can enter the temple from 6 am to 11 am and from 5 pm to 8 pm on other occasions the temple will be open all day there is a parking lot available The Agathir Ashram can be seen on the right side of the entrance. Earlier, this location was known as Hanu Bhavi, where Hanu stands for Shri Anjaneya and Vavi is a Tamil word for water source As the legend goes Sri Anjaneya became thirsty as he rode the Sanjeevi mountain across this hill He asked Lord Murga for water. The Lord struck this area with his veil, causing water to erupt and flow like a river. The spring inside this temple has no known source as date. even today the villagers use the water from this pond intended for drinking and supplementary purposes The hill is also referred to as Hanuma Kumaran Malai since Kumara Muruga assisted Hanuman.
Swayambhu Murthy, presiding deity, and the five mango holy trees were washed away by nature's fury in the year 1957. The new temple was then built in the year 1969 and sanctification celebrated on that year. The temple is 1 km far from the foothills with 500 steps. Subramanya in the temple is Swayambhu Murthy which is self formed presiding deity Muruga blesses devotees in his standing posture with consorts Valli and Devani The Idumban shrine is located before the hill temple a small Lord Ganesha temple is on the way Next to Lord Subramanya is the Sannadhi of Anjaneya Swami along with a small wood rath or chariot that is used to take the deity about the temple in Parikrama. When people climb the steps to the Anjaneya Sannadhi, the place where Anjaneya quenched his thirst, adjacent to that is a spring from where water is collected in the tank there's a shrine for navagrahas the nine planets we can see the large hanuman statue from this point Besides Anjaneya shrine there is a way to reach Shiva shrine In this temple Lord Shiva blesses the name of Sri Arunachaleshwara There is a cave 
where it is said that Bambati Siddhar lived. From this cave, there is a short path through the forest to Marudamalai temple, where Siddhar used to travel. The natural spring at this temple was said to have therapeutic properties by the devotees. So they bathe before worship this lord. This temple is imposingly situated on a hill, providing a bird's eye view over the neighborhood city and its surroundings. The surrounding, stunning scenery and natural aura of the temple makes it the ideal setting for a weekend of relaxation and recreation. In addition, a variety of species find sanctuary in the area's deep forest, with elephants being the most notable. Right as we descend, we can see the Vanakkaruparayan temple. For many people, it is genuinely unknown because it is in the interior. relatively tiny path leads to the temple. Many people will refrain from going to this temple. Make sure you don't have any significant illness before you ascend the 500 difficult steps from the foothills to the temple because it is located on a hill. Lord Hanuman is considered as the loyal devotee of Lord Rama and has got a significant role in Hindu epics, Puranas and literatures with his strong characteristics that adds powers to the plot. Mostly, being mentioned in the epic Ramayana and Mahabharata, Lord Hanuman is a game changer of the whole epic. The Sri Anuvavi Anjaneer Nandavanam is situated close to the foothills of Anuvavi in Coimbatore. 
In this temple, Anjaneya Swami is worshipped. The 48 feet tall Hanuman statue is the main speciality of this place. As a famous quote says, when it rains, it pours. The sudden downpour of rain creates a flood-like situation in this place. If you intend to escape flooded roads and setbacks during your journey, refrain from tra traveling to this place while it pours. <laughs> 